What is up, everybody? Um, Richard Houghton here. I wanted to show you guys how I play Saving a Life. Um, I have some people asking me if I had tabs or written the music down, and I really don't, I generally don't write that anything down except just record it, so um, you're actually not very good at writing tabs or anything, but I thought this might help if, uh, if you guys had any questions about um, how, I'm, how I'm playing it. And um, yeah, I'll just get started and then I'm, what I'll do is I'll play the, the part, the solo intro, uh, and then I'll slow it down. Hey, what's up, Bentley? And then I'll slow it down again. Um, all right, here we go. Oh yeah, a couple notes <laughs> before we get started. I use a capo on the first fret um, when I recorded that song, just because I, I thought, I think it sounds better with this guitar. It just kind of resonates on the open strings better. And I'm just using, it's really two chords at the beginning, just an A minor. <laughs> Like kind of like as a gallop, like with a palm mute. Almost got it. <laughs> Actually, it's it kind of kind of fun about that song is it's an, it was an improvisation, and I didn't I didn't remember what I played, and I had to go back and listen to the recording to kind of figure out all the little all the little parts, um, which uh, yeah, it was trickier than I thought, and I don't. What's funny is I don't remember doing certain things, and I'm like, huh, that's interesting. So that's that's what's kind of fun about improv uh, improvisation, is that you get things that you would never write normally. Um, all right, but uh, here we go. I'll play this slower, which is actually a little trickier for me, um, just because it's not normally how I play it. But um, I start off with using my pinky, and I'm sliding into the 11th fret from the 10th fret. So it's like, and then it from, from my pinky, it's a pull off um, from four to one, as far as the fingers go. So it's like, and then two, one, and then three third finger. I'm using the open string here to do a hammer-on and then um, more hammer-ons and then pull off so it's like Now I'm gonna play, actually I'll just kind of break it up into parts and pieces. 
Um, there's a couple of parts that I think are the trickiest. And mostly everything is in one position. Like you could play the whole song pretty much right here. And then with the exception of I do go to the 13th fret. But mostly it's all right here. And then I do slide down. I go. But you could also do that. Anyways, <laughs> um, here we go. That is not that. I'm just confusing you. Don't listen to me. Uh, here we go again. I'm going to just play it really slow. And I think I'll just break it into little parts. So we got. The trickiest part in that song for me was the, it, during this part it goes. This part. So it has, it has this kind of pattern like. So it goes. Oh, see, it's, tr it's tricky. Yeah. So the, the one trick that I always tell myself is I jump back very quickly to this note. So it's like. I hope that helps a little bit. Oh, yeah. Dogs are good. Dogs are good. Dogs are good. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.